We continue to track the spread of the COVID-19 virus in both Missouri and Kansas. In Missouri, the percentage of tests coming back positive has dropped slightly to 12.8%. It is a different story in Kansas, though, where the positivity rate has gone up to 10.3%. In Jackson County, Missouri, residents must continue wearing masks in public through October 7th. KBC 9's Bianca Beltran was there as county leaders voted to extend that requirement just today. And she joins us live with the latest from health officials on why they say masks are still needed. Bianca? Well, Laura, it comes down to community spread of COVID-19. And while the Jackson County Health Department is starting to see a downward trend, there are still high levels of COVID-19 cases in the community and hospitals are at capacity. Today, they said that they've seen masks make a difference. Despite pointed opposition, the Jackson County Health Department stood firm in its recommendation, pointing to studies of mask mandates in Kansas. On this graph, the dotted line in the middle represents an executive order allowing counties to opt in. After the implementation of the mandate, uh, mass counties saw a noticeable decline in overall case rate. That's what the green arrow is pointing to. And the red arrow? Whereas those unmasked counties saw a continued increase in case rate over time. A majority of the legislature approved extending the mask mandate in Jackson County. Now with schools open, the Delta variant is coming for our children. They are defenseless and they rely on us to protect them. Travis showed up in support of the health order. One thing he knows for sure, the virus has been devastating. I feel like if I look on Facebook, I'm constantly saying, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Over the last two weeks, I swear, it's like three times a day I'm saying that to somebody. You know, so that's just something we just got to work on. Bianca Beltran, KMBC 9 News. And health department leaders say that masks are just one part of the equation. Vaccination, they say, is one of their strongest tools in this battle. But about 43 percent of the population in Jackson County is currently vaccinated. And children under 12 are not yet eligible. And all of that factors into this decision. Reporting live, I'm Bianca Beltran, KBC 9 News. This public health order applies to Jackson County residents five and older requiring mask wearing indoors in public places. A big milestone for the Kansas City Metro. One million people in our area are now fully vaccinated. That's according to data from local health departments on both sides of the state line. That data is compiled by groups across the metro as part of Comeback KC's Vaccinate KC initiative.